Well, it's beginning to feel a little bit like Groundhog Day with these market reports. Prices are down, transactions are down, interest rates are still rising. Prices are probably still gonna soften in certain areas for the first half of the year, but it's very likely that the majority of the price adjustment is behind us. The biggest mistake that I see people making now is taking the generalized information that we're getting from headlines and news and applying it to their own specific situation. Here's three things that you should be aware of and questions that you should be asking. Number one, the GTA is a huge place. So what does this information look like if you start breaking it down into smaller geographical areas? If you break it down, you'll see that PL saw almost 19% decrease year over year and Durham was up at 15% year over year. So the GTA average of 8.2% is a little bit misleading. Also given the fact that Toronto proper is basically flatlined year over year at 0.4%. Number two, what type of property do you have? The media usually lump all different types of properties together. The news and headlines are a great way to get a snapshot of the big picture, especially if you're on the sidelines. Number three, what's your property equation? You might be a first time home buyer. You might be moving up. You might be moving down. You might be moving up in the same geographical neighborhood. You might be moving up in a different geographical neighborhood. We have to take all of the factors that are in play for your specific situation. If you really want to be informed about real estate market, make sure that you're reaching out to a realtor.